Niles browned off his beef fillets before oven roasting them, and he's rolled his bone marrow in a herb crumb. Aware the dish needs to be lightened up, he's adding extra vegetables. So what, what are you actually serving with the beef? I'm going to serve uh, carrot, beetroot, faves, spring onion, and then so we will enjoy some potatoes, but they're just over here cooking away nicely. Alan's keeping his eye on Niall's progress and seems to be doing all he can to unnerve him. Are you not ever so worried that it's going to dry out? Not really. I've only got ten minutes to go. But Niall's not only keeping his cool, he's ready to plate up ahead of time. You coming a bit early, chef? Just a wee bit. The reason I'm early is because I'm totally organised, mate, so... Uh... Do you know what? I'm glad, mate. It's taken you three days. He starts with the beef fillet and then places the sliced tongue. After the herbed bone marrow, he lays his vegetables and finishes with the onion puree and a drizzle of red wine jus. So, Alan, do you feel threatened? Oh, I'm threatened by everybody, mate. Right, gents, here we go. Pretty play, mate. Well, it looks like a mighty meaty mouthful to me. I think the bone is a bit disorientating. I think it sort of detracts away from the meat itself. Oh, no, I love it. I no, that's, that's what makes it. Oh, Where's your sense? I don't like your version of bone. I'll, I'll it makes it unusual and like a flag sticking up. I think that beef's got a massive depth of flavour. That is good meat. And it's beautifully cooked. It has enough texture to it to make you chew it and then release the flavours. I love the idea of the beef marrow being with a sort of parsley crust around it, but actually. The middle of it is not properly cooked. And yeah, it needs a bit longer. I, th I think the tongue is wrong. I don't think it needs the tongue. Oh, uh, I love oh. the tongue. No, I really don't think. I don't know why. I feel it doesn't need the tongue. I think it's a great bit of cooking. The beef's been sourced fantastically and what you would expect at this level. But this is not just about sourcing and the quality of the beef. It's about creativity. It's about saying, wow, this chef has taken a great piece of produce and he made it into something that's really special for this banquet, something that these people will never have tried before. The Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall are going to go, wow. Do you know, I am so cross with Niall because, yes, we wanted more veg, but what we did not ask for was vinegary over-salted beetroot, which is not summery. It doesn't take a lot to get the veg right. No. And you know what? This is a beautiful dish if it wasn't for that. I, I really could kill him. So, mixed opinions from the judges. But what do Niall's fellow chefs think? I think it looks absolutely stunning. Potato just a bit on the salty side for me. The beef is so rare. Mm. 100 people at banquet, do you think that might be an issue? Yeah, I think you'd have to cook it a little bit more. Yeah. Do you know, I really warmed to Niall. There's some enormous generosity about his food. He added vegetables this time, which was a distinct improvement, but they were sort of added a sort of slightly grudging sense as an afterthought. So for that reason, I'm afraid I'm only going to give him a seven. I really thought that the beef marrow wrapped up in that garlicky thing was just far too overpowering. So I'm going to give it a seven. If Niall's restaurant was anywhere near me at all, I would go to it every day. He cooks the sort of food that I really enjoy eating. But it is a competition, and although it's a good dish, it's a seven. I really like this dish. I thought this dish was fantastic. Yes, the vegetables were a little bit, you know, mundane, not too creative, but that's, for me that was a slight glitch. I just thought the dish together was just a great dish. I really liked it. For that reason, I'm going to give it an eight. So, better scores than yesterday, but will it be enough to win him a place at the banquet? He'll just have to wait and see.